are areas of bone or cartilage that lose their blood supply. And here we're going to discuss about one interesting case which was fixed appropriately. The MRI shows a large osteochondral lesion in the medial femoral condyle of the knee. And when we look in through the arthroscope, we can see this large lesion on the medial femoral condyle. Now, if we look at it, it extends all the way superiorly. The first step is to make a portal to probe this lesion and you can see that it is partially attached. Now, we fix it with multiple biopins as can be seen here in this animation and we'll see it in the arthroscopic video as we proceed. So, multiple biopins to fix this back. How do we do it? The first step is to tap it with a guide wire perpendicular to the bone and drill it to 30 millimeters. There is a mark on these guide wires that helps you go to the appropriate depth and it's important to drill slowly so that the fragment does not shatter and you can see the markings appropriately. After this, the biopins are cut to 30 millimeters in length. The sleeve is applied to the area drilled and the biopins tapped in arthroscopically. And you can see they are just flush with the condyle. This process is then repeated for subsequent pins, first starting on one side of the knee. In this case, I've gone from distal to proximal that is from down to up as it's a rather large lesion. You can check for appropriate depth by removing the sleeve intermittently. We continue this process till we cover as much area of the osteochondral fragment as possible. Extra portals may need to be made according to the area where the biopin needs to be applied as one portal may not suffice. So you can see me going through a higher portal to drill into the osteochondral fragment and put in the next biopin superiorly. We now shift portals and view from the medial side so that we can see the lesion from a different perspective. And here we can see there's still scope and room for more pins to be applied to stabilize the fragment even better. Be very careful to drill perpendicular to the fragment so as to not shatter it. And the pins should be tapped in adequately well so that they're not very proud. This is to prevent them from rubbing over the tibial condyle and causing degeneration there. At the end, we can see a stable fixation of the osteochondral fragment. At six weeks, you can see healing has begun and at three months, you cannot see the lesion anymore and it has healed completely with full range of motion in the patient.